Hi everybody, it is Jen in Canada, and I wanted to share with you what I'm doing today. I'm going to do this 23andMe vid, uh, kit. Um, it's health and ancestry, and uh, it's uh, it's because I got for my birthday. I'm pretty sure I got for my birthday or for Christmas um, last year. Um, because I, um, wanted to know more about any of the health stuff that I have things to, in my, in my genes or things to look, f not forward to, but, to uh, look out for. And, um, cause my mom passed when I was 21 with, with cancer, but bone and breast cancer. And my dad passed when I was 42, um, with, uh, pox p-o-c-s um and a whole bunch had other health issues it basically had a heart attack as well um so there's like health issues in my family that i know about but there's some that i might not know about also to see if there's any you know long lost relatives or 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 cousins i know my dad side of the family um i don't know much about um because he came from the bahamas and stuff and um, I know that he, he talked about having cousins and stuff like that. And my mom's side of the family, um, there's not much to, that I know about either because my mom's mother was adopted. Um, other than that, she was one of like eight siblings, um, and her parents put them in the, in the orphanage during the depression, um, in Montreal because they couldn't afford to feed them. Um, but other than that... I don't know much. And my grandfather always kept on saying that he was a descendant from like one of the queens or whatever. He was like a bastard child, you know, bastard, like great grandson or something like that. Who knows? But so, um, it says here, uh, register the tick, uh, the kit. I will do that once I'm done all this. Um, and the, so we can collect the saliva. Um, you spit and follow the kit instructions. Discover as we analyze your sample. It, sh it could take um, 30 days or so, I think. And so we put the stuff back into this box. Because there's a reseal spot here. So in this box, it comes. Let's get started. And then there's the instructions with this container. Um, so there's the container and it says no food or drink no brushing your teeth 30 minutes beforehand so I haven't done that yet I was going to do this video yesterday but I had just eaten lunch so, <laughs> um, so I'm doing that now there's that's the uh, spit thing so here, spit to fill the line. That's the line. <coughs> this could take a while. Have to register it at 23andme.ca. This could be almost there. <laughs> Didn't realize it was hollow underneath, it's just this little bit in the middle. Almost there. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I've done to the filled line. Just above it. So now I'm supposed to close this. one off. Put the cap on. And And then we put this in this baggie. In this baggie and then put that back in the box and then ship it. But we have to register it first. And that's it. Fairly simple to do. Um, I'll do another video when we get the results. It says here... It should take... Where does it say? I know it said something about so many weeks or so. Um... Goes up and live the other head shot. Cool. Do two please cut two please seal bags. And then register just out twenty three made that start. So it says it take a few weeks, I think. And that's about it. So, in a couple weeks, you'll see a video of my results. Um, so, there is that. Um, have anybody else done 23andMe? Oh, the reason why I did 23andMe versus Ancestry.ca was the 23andMe one for the health, like to do the, 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 the whole kit and caboodle was cheaper than the ancestry one and um i can choose once i've done it to either look at the results or not or or that so and it's all on me to connect with people if i want to or not so uh i will share with you this process and um if this if you've done it yourself um comment below which one you chose um i think there's also some other ones out there but i wanted one of the more popular ones so there was a bigger chance of maybe finding family or connecting or, or learning about my history like who knows maybe i'm related to the queen of england somehow many many generations or you know or a queen of another country you know who knows? So, uh, thanks for watching. Um, 
have a great day and please like share and subscribe and what are the things you're doing during this pandemic that we are experiencing now in 2020 i'm looking forward towards christmas um we already had our thanksgiving here in october it is now november the 8th yes november the 8th so um christmas is coming sooner than we think like another like six weeks or so so have a great day bye bye friends